Hello students, welcome once again to our English virtual class. So even today, we will be continuing with the topic, verbs. Now, in our, last, um, in our previous video lesson, we have learned about transitive we have learned about transitive verbs under under the under the topic verbs we have learned about the types of verbs that we have so under the action verb we have learned what is transitive verbs right so let us quickly revise what was uh, what is transitive verb now transitive verbs it provides the links between the subject and the object correct now today we will see the other form of verb that is the intransitive verbs okay so this is our topic this is our topic for today all right so let's see what is intransitive verb now coming to your topic for today that is your intransitive verbs this topic is on page number 56. You will find it on page number 56. Now, so when I say intransitive verb, what is it actually? What is intransitive verb? So here, by intransitive, intransitive verbs, it shows no link between the subject and object. Or, in other words, we can see that there is no direct object, okay? It does not have any direct object. Intransitive verb does not have any direct object. So here, let us understand this with the help of an example. The boy loves loudly. Now here, we know that the boy is the subject loves is the verb now last in the last class i have already told you how to find a transitive verb yes or no what is the question tag that we would use for an transitive verb we we just need to ask the question whom or what this is the question tag that we have to use to find an int, uh, to find a transitive verb so let us try using this question to find out whether the verb love is an intransitive verb or transitive verb okay so remember the question whom or what for transitive verb so here if I ask the question, what, what the boy loves? What the boy loves? Do you get any answer? No, we don't get any answer, right? If I ask what the boy loves. Now again, the second question, whom the boy loves? Again, here also, we are not getting any answer. So both the answers... We are not getting any answer for the question that what and whom. So, here we can see that the verb loves is an intransitive verb. Okay? So, here. So, we can say the verb loves is an intransitive verb. So, how to get... So here now we have we have learned how to find a transitive verb and how to find how to how do we find out what is a transitive uh, what is an intransitive verb. So here, let's take the example. So how to get answer? So how do we find the answer for intransitive verb? Then you just have to ask the question. How okay? This is a question that you can use for intransitive verb now look at this example the boy loves loudly so if i ask how the boy love then the answer we get is 
loudly. It is telling us how. So this is called intransitive verb. Okay. I hope this is clear. Let's see. Um, okay. So there, um, there, there is a short form. So students, again, let's see one more example to find out an uh, to find out an intransitive verb. So in the example, you can see the train stopped suddenly. Now here we know that the train is the subject, stopped as the verb. Now our work is to find out whether this verb is intransitive or intransitive verb. Now, like I told you, to find out the to find out whether a verb is transitive or intransitive, we have to ask the question, what and whom for direct, for transitive verb and how for intransitive verb. So in this question, let's, let's ask, the train stop what? No answer. The train, whom, whom the train stop? Again, there is no answer. So let's try the last question. How did the train stop? Then the train stopped suddenly. So this is what we are getting the answer. So here we can see that the word, the verb stop is an intransitive verb. Okay. So coming to the next one, there are some verbs which are always intransitive. Okay. They are, these verbs are always transitive. So I used a keyword which is, uh, which will, which, which is an, uh, which will become easy for you to remember. I use the keyword D class. Okay. So here by D. What is it, what is the meaning of D? It means die. G. Go. L for lie. A for arrive. S for sit and another S for sneeze. Now, these words are always intransitive in nature. Okay, they are always intransitive. For example, if I use the word arrive, please arrive soon. Then, here we come to know that arrive is an intransitive. It does not require, there is no object that comes after after it yes or no there is there any object no there is no object so they never these words are intransitive and intransitive verbs never use a direct object to make a complete sense okay they do not require a direct object to make the to make a complete sense so here the word arrive is an intransitive verb i hope this is clear with intransitive verb Okay.